Hello everyone and welcome to the Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum where so many great events have unfolded over the years and today this crowd is charged up for a big USC Trojans home game. And wow, do we have a fun one here ahead. A top 10 team walking into the snake pit of an environment just trying to get out alive. This will be fun as we'll see the number two team in the country, the Ohio State Buckeyes taking on the 14th ranked team in the land, the USC Trojans. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler here in the booth with Kirk Herbstreit. I think we've talked long enough, Kirk. Let's get this game going. He hands it off from the gun. Great job by the offensive line here, opening up some holes and giving the running back room to run on first down. And plays like this can open up the playbook for the play caller, allow him to make that defense think they're going to run, maybe play action, maybe throw the ball downfield. Quick throw over the middle, and he's got it. Tackle made after a nice pickup on the play. Listen to the crowd energy here in the early going. This is a tough, tough environment for visitors. They pick up four, so second down and six coming up. Hat on a hat up front. Good job of opening up the holes. Anytime you can get positive yards on first down, that's a win. Second down after that run on the previous play. Back to pass. It's Brown. Pass ball is incomplete. There was a lot of contact. No penalty. Brings up third down. Dropping back. We're going to throw for the first down. Catch made down the left side. An explosive play. Tackle to the 28. This offense threatening now. Another first down. The Buckeyes moving quickly down the field here. Off the play fake. Looking to throw. Let's it go. He's got it for a big game. The stop made at the five. The offense will have first and goal now. Nice play action call here by this offensive coordinator. You, know, you can freeze those linebackers just for a split second. Usually that's going to give you enough room to be able to get that tight end behind them. And if the quarterback can make a nice tight throw like this, and he will score. Touchdown, Buckeyes. Oh, just outstanding execution here by this offense. The offensive line gives the quarterback time, and the quarterback's anticipation was on point. Puts that ball right in the money. The receiver, all he had to do was turn and catch the ball for that touchdown. Off here from the shotgun. Fighting off the defender. The sophomore with a strong tackle there. Second down after that previous play. From the shotgun, drops back. Finds a man to the left. Big catch downfield. And the defense able to bring him down to wrap up the first quarter of play. And it's USC in front, Kirk, as we break for the quarter. And at the end of the first quarter, let's check out the stats so far. Plenty of time for some plot twists here as we begin the second quarter. Back at it to start the quarter. Offense getting set to run a first down play. Dropping back. It's Brown. Quick throw to the left. And it's incomplete. The defender arrived at the same time as the football. And now it's second down. There's the snap. Looking to throw the ball. Looks downfield and finds a receiver who worked his way wide open. Big play across midfield. They'll spot it near the 36. Just another great example, Chris, of an Ohio State quarterback and receiver combination being so dangerous. You think about it, over the last eight or ten years, I think Ohio State has been as consistent as anybody when it comes to the passing game and the efficiency that comes with it. 
Here's the second down play. And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. And they finally stop him at a decent game that time. When you can get good chunks of yardage like this on early downs, it just keeps you on schedule, leading to more manageable third down situations. Never underestimate the value of consistently getting four more yards a pop like that. Tackle, but only after picking up a fresh set of downs. Well, if I'm this defense, you get these guys to third down, you better bracket or double team some kind of coverage rolled to this receiver to take him away. This guy makes another big play. Running out of time in the pocket. And he's brought down. Offense going backwards with the sack. That's a really nice job of bouncing back by this defense after giving up that big gain. This time they get the pressure and bring that quarterback down. Second down now after the sack. Quarterback drops back. We're going to test the secondary. Quick throw to his receiver. Tipped and then drops. Chance to make a play, but instead it's third down. See if the offense can move the change with that incompletion. We're going to throw it on third and very long. This one's going to fall incomplete. Brings up fourth down. Hey, it's an incompletion, but it's a nice job by the quarterback. I Back to throw. It's Brown. Let's it fly to the wide out. Makes the catch downfield. And the game just good enough for a first down. Well, the quarterback has just too much time against this zone. There's not enough pressure to allowing him to sit back and pick apart the zone defense. A new set of downs after that completion. Tries the right with a quick throw. He pulls it in for a big game. An explosive play. They'll finally make the tackle down at the 27-yard line. Another chunk of play. This offense is really clicking. On first and ten, looking to throw. There's contact on the throw. It's incomplete. He was hit as he threw. Good pass rush there on first down. Well, I love to see this quarterback sit in there and take the hit. But, man, he's got to do a better job of recognizing where to go with the ball and just throw it away. You can't throw it in double coverage. Contact as he threw it. Grab down the middle. It's Smith. All the way to the end zone. Touchdown, Ohio State. Perfect timing here by this quarterback. Great read. Puts the ball where his man can make a play on it. And they're an extra point away from tying this game up. Here comes a first down pass attempt. And the sack is made. That's a nice play there by the sophomore. A really good job by this defense. The quarterback looked to be trying to work through his progressions to find his open receiver. But before he knew it, he's on his back. Dropping back. It's Brown. Fires it to the wideout. That one falls incomplete. Looking for a flag. Doesn't get it. Brings up third down. What a hit there by the defender. Tough for the receiver to hold on to the football when he has that kind of contact. Good, clean play by the defense. Defense is coming after him. Gets the ball off as he's hit, but it's incomplete. I see what the quarterback's trying to do here. He's holding on to that. Quarterback takes the knee, will not see another play here. We'll go to halftime all the time. Miller's going to wrap up the first half here. Let's kick it down to Kevin Connors with our halftime update. Men, we've been looking forward to this one all week. A fun start to things in L.A. An entertaining first half, and we've got a multi-possession lead to break down thanks to the surgical precision of this offense. Might honestly take more time to talk about what didn't work than what did. 
The running game, the passing game, gadget plays have worked. Now it's just a matter of finishing the job. Either way, it's time to find out. Back to the best in the biz for the start of this third quarter. First play of the second half is a handoff. Tackled behind the line, it's a loss of two. Runners that excellent linebacker with a clear path just running downhill quickly. You know, I think one of the great things about watching this guy play all year is his vision. He just has great instincts. That time the defensive line ate up all the linemen, freed up the linebacker to get into the backfield, and the result is a tackle for a loss for the backer. They bring him down, but the junior quarterback showing off the cannon. Pass complete for a first down. The offense gets a fresh set of downs. See, that's how you limit what an offense wants to do. This time, the defense just won the battle up front of the line of scrimmage, not giving up any big plays. Everybody's gap sound. It's really solid defense on that play. Oh, it's picked off. What a play. Big takeaway. Now looking for a big return. And he's wrapped up after a solid return. That offensive coordinator is going to have some choice words for his quarterback over the phone on the sideline after that throw. You have to be more careful with the football. Fake, looking to throw on first down. Let's it go quickly. Caught over the middle. It's Smith. Not much after the catch, but it is good enough for a first down. Man, this wide receiver has been a difference maker in this football game. He's got two touchdowns already. Now they look to him again, and he picks up the first down. And he pulls in the catch. An explosive play. Big gain across midfield to the 42. Big chunk play. This offense operating at peak efficiency. First down. We're going to throw the football. Looking for the wide out. He's got an open man downfield, and it's caught. They bring him down, but an explosive play by this offense. Big game. Chris, the more we watch these spread offenses attack in today's game, it's not just about the vertical shots with the taller receivers on the outside. Defenses are challenged even. And he's going to fling it deep, going for it all here. Oh, and it's batted down by the defense. Great play to deny a touchdown. Boy, this quarterback is really rolling the dice out here today. Remember, he threw an interception the last time they had the ball. I thought he might learn from that, but instead he comes out throwing it into coverage again. Somehow catches a break on this tip ball that this one was an interception. Here's a shot toward the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Buckeyes. And they connect again. That's just been an unstoppable pitch and catch combination all game, Kirk. This receiver's been making this defense look silly, Chris, the entire game. He has multiple touchdowns so far. Just shows you that whatever the game plan was to slow him down, flat out hasn't worked. Give it to the back. Solid game. Moves the ball to the 43. It's a good, solid game. Five or six yards. Love to see that from the running game. Big set. Here's second down. Same tailback. Another carry. Breaks loose at the 45. And that big game moves the ball across midfield all the way to about the 36. How about setting the edge there on the right side of that offensive line? I wouldn't be surprised if they keep going back to the well, pounding it behind that right guard and right tackle and tight end, seeing what additional damage they can do. The offense really clicking here. 
quarterback making adjustments down to what the defense is showing. They'll toss it to the right side. They tackle him behind the line, a loss of four. Chris, great job here by this defense. They're trying to bounce this to the outside, take advantage of his speed in the backfield with no chance at all. The defensive speed, and building a diagnose to play, blows it up. They'll switch it up, looking to throw. It's caught downfield. And a big game before he goes out of bounds. The offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. And that completion, Kirk, puts him over 300 yards passing today. Yeah, any time a quarterback has a day like this, really, it all has to come together with the offensive line play, the receivers running these great routes, and he's just in sync. He's kind of in that zone right now, and he'll be the first one to tell you how much his teammates have helped him out today. Coming to the line on second down, this is important. They want to avoid a third and long. Looking to pass, it's Brown. Launching one to the end zone. Touchdown, Ohio State. And they go in front here in the second half. Well, you talk about a dream performance by this guy. That's his fourth receiving touchdown of this game. We knew he'd have chances to make plays, but I don't think anybody expected four touchdowns. He hands it to the back. He moves the ball across the 20 to the 22. Hey, you got to do what you got to do. You got to rely on that offensive line in the running game here to be able to secure a victory. Good call. Just keep working that clock. Offense getting set. Second down play here. There's the snap. Quarterback setting up the throw. The catch is made for a huge pickup. Tackle made after a big game. Well, I think the offense lulled the defense to sleep here. Do you think that they're just working the clock here and running the football, and then they throw and surprise you and get some positive yards downfield just to keep this defense honest? They bring it down, but the game moves the ball into enemy territory at the 43. Buckeyes begin a new series here, first and 10. And they're moving the receiver now before the snap, and they'll keep it on the ground trying to run some clock. It's a nice wrap-up there by the junior. Now, I like the run play here, and offensively, at this point in the game, you want to remain in that attack mode first, while also staying in bounds and working that clock. They go with the ground game here. Running back takes the handoff. They bring him down, but that's a solid gain on the play. Good call here by the offense to be able to pick up this first down. And, Chris, it makes you wonder, with under three minutes to go in this game and trailing, the defense sitting back in their base, I thought they might be in a little bit more of an aggressive mindset, turning the blitz loose, trying to create some plays to get the football back. Makes a quick catch. They make the tackle, but not before a solid gain on that pass. Chris, that's another nice pick up through the air. I, I thought they might be really just out to run the football here with the lead. But instead, they're electing to throw the football. Different routes, quarterbacks in rhythm. Really, it's almost an extension of their uh, passing game. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Well, the back just had nowhere to go. How about the defensive line? They eat up all the blocks up front, freeing those linebackers up to be able to make the play. Just a bad play all around for this offense. They'll try to run for the first down. Breaks through the tackle. Wow, juke the first tackle. That was enough to make the first down. Boy, as a head coach, you preach fourth quarter offense all year long. The importance of being able to finish out a game. This is a great example. They have secured this football, this drive. They've been able to convert on third downs, and they keep moving this clock. This is a clinic on how to run a four-minute offense. We head now to the two-minute warning as this offense tries to bleed out the clock and secure this win. 
Linebackers trying to confuse this offense now. Big guys up front lined up. It's first down. They're going to run it. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. And now it's the defense that calls timeout here, trying to get organized and preserve as much clock as possible. Coming to the line on second down. This is important. They want to avoid a third and long. There's the handoff. And he's brought down after a short gain does not make the first down yardage. And now a timeout taken by the defense trying to preserve as much clock as possible for their offense. And they convert here on third down in the red zone. This is a four-point type of play, touchdown or field goal. It's scanning the field, it's Brown. Looking to the end zone. And the pass is incomplete just across the goal line. Boy, Chris, what a hit there on that third down. From the shotgun, it's a handoff. Finding enough space for a solid game before they stop. And now it's the defense that calls timeout here, trying to get organized and preserve as much clock as possible. Second down play coming up. He'll hand it off. No way to run up the middle. Well, the defensive line does their job eating up those double teams, freeing up the backers and making the play. Offense success the formation. It's third down. the shotgun he'll hand it off fighting for yardage but the defense stops him just short of that first down marker on the ready it's victory formation the quarterback will kneel down well it wasn't a flawless performance Kirk but they look pretty good out there today and a very satisfying W I think this group has a chance to do some really special things this year. They clearly have talent to be able to work with. I've been impressed with how this head coach managed the game and led his team to a victory. And that is going to wrap it up. We enjoyed this one here. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Chris Fowler, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.